Why did you leave Czechoslovakia? Because of this film, Fireman's Ball, because that was the film which was made in 1967, and uh, when the, the communist censors saw the film, they didn't dare to make a verdict, and they sent the film to the Politburo of the party to look at it. And I was told, I, you know, I was not there, of course, they showed the film to the Politburo. And afterwards, I was told that uh, after the film, when the film finished, that the president, Novotny, who was also the first secretary of the party, he climbed the wall. And he was just uh, expressing the greatest disgust you know, about the film. And the film was officially banned in that time, I already had a, uh, because then Dubček era, meanwhile, uh, started, and I had a, a contract to make, a, to try to make a film in the United States. So I was in the uh, United States uh, making a film, and uh, then the Russians came to Czechoslovakia, and I learned that this film, my film, was officially banned forever. So it was clear to me that if I go back to Czechoslovakia, I will not be able to make movies anymore. And I will probably end up, you know, digging somewhere, uh, you know, in the, in the fields or in the coal mines or something like that. So I just didn't go back because I knew that I wouldn't be able to work. Did you have to claim any kind of political asylum or was it just you, you could stay in America and never go back? No, I was in the United States and I uh, immediately uh, asked for the so-called green card so they can stay in the United States and work there, you know. And it was also very interesting because uh, my visa were expiring, you know, one day and about two weeks before the visa expired, I was called into the office of the immigration officer and he told me, Mr. Foreman, we are not going to give you a green card. We, you will be deported. I said, why? because you lied to us. So I lied to you? Yeah, you said that you were never a member of Communist Party. I said, well, I don't know what you know. All I know is that I was never a member of any political party, least of all Communist political party. Sorry. So, you know, I am going to be... So I mentioned this, deported, so I mentioned this to a friend of mine who was in my first American movie, Bug Henry, and he talked to Petty Chayefsky and Mike Nichols and, and Schaffner and uh, Sidney Lumet and a few other directors, and they wrote a letter, a strong letter, to uh, the immigration office, you know, to uh, reverse their opinion, their, their decision. So they gave me extension of staying without being deported for three months or whatever. One day, finally, the same official, the same bureaucrat, called me in the office three months later and said, Mr. Foreman, I'm very happy to inform you that you were never a member of Communist Party. Oh, great. So what happened was that, of course, Americans, they have their informers in the communist countries. If they want to know something, so, you know, they check with them. But they are so naive. They don't realize that 90% of these informers are really serving KGB or SDB, you know. So when they asked their informer if I was ever a member of the Communist Party, the Czechs wanted me back to put me in prison. So they said, yes, he was a member of the Communist Party because they knew that Americans will expel me. So that's how they got the information that I was a member of the Communist Party. Then when the, all the American directors, you know, were trying to save me, so they asked again through some other channels, and then they learned that I was telling the truth. So that saved my life, you know, my career, I mean.